Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on CO2 sequestration modeling using CMG software. And in this series of videos, we are going to construct the full case, which will include structural trapping and then solubility trapping and then dissolution trapping, solubility trapping. And then lastly, which we will construct today is the mineral trapping so it's going to be very interesting and important but you need to understand that mineral trapping requires a very long period of time to complete or to occur but still it's very important because yeah later on the co2 will experience mineral trapping as well so although in maybe our lifetime mineral trapping will not be completed but we can be sure that once we inject the CO2, later on, though it takes a very long period of time, CO2 will be trapped by the mineral trapping. So that's why we still need to model the mineral trapping. Okay, so let's go ahead. First, we go to our folder and let's find here case 3B. And we are going to take the the wind prop, okay, wind prop 3B, the dot dot, this one wind prop case 3B. In this case, we have already structural, structural hysteresis and solubility trapping. Copy, and then let's... I'm going to erase everything first, okay? And then paste it here. Let's change it to win prop case five. Okay, good. And then mineral. Okay, and then let's here yeah. we go to folder five and then let's drag this one and put it on the wind prop okay so we are now inside the wind prop let's rename the case here yeah, title eos units change it to case five structural hysteresis solubility and lastly mineral trapping Okay, so far so good, and then as usual, click save. Okay, now let's navigate to the CMG gem EOS model here. Okay, and then you can see here we have print component properties for gem, blah, 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 right? Reservoir temperature for gem fluid model, 50 degrees centigrade. Okay, and then you can also see recalculate solubility parameters at pressure and temperature temperature 50 celsius and then pressure 11,800 kilopascal now click on this select gem reactions and or define polymer or non-reacting aqueous components click on that very good now we have several tabs we have actually five tabs now reaction aqueous component reaction selection mineral reaction data aqueous phase model data, ion exchange reactions. Now let's select reaction selection. And we have reaction type selection, aqueous species reaction, and also mineral species reaction. First, we will select here, aqueous species reactions. And then we have database available reactions here. Okay, and for our mineral trapping or for our reaction, we are going to select, go down to number 82, CO2 in aqueous phase plus H2O, it will result in H plus and bicarbonate, all right? So let's click on that. Okay, so just click on this and then it will be transferred 
on this selection or selected reactions. 83 as well. All right. So CO2, CO2 3, it will produce this one plus hydrogen plus it will produce HCO3 minus. And then also reaction number 355 to produce water, H2O. Okay, so far so good. And then for chemical equilibrium equation deviations, I mean derivative, we select numerical instead of analytical. And for mineral precipitation or dissolution rate equation derivative, we also select numerical. Okay, very good. And then here the numerical method is used for calculating chemical equilibrium equation derivatives and mineral precipitation dissolution rate equation derivative, All right? So we prefer performing the derivative calculation using numerical method. And then we move to mineral species reactions. Okay, previously we select aqueous species reactions. So now species reaction or reaction for the mineral species. Okay, and we will find reaction number 31 for our minerals. Anortite, you can also double click. 112. for calcite, and then lastly for kaolinite, number 292. Okay, pretty good. So we have three mineral species reactions here. And then we move to mineral reaction data. All right. Yeah, mineral reaction data, and we will add reaction parameters in the window. And I will expand this, can I? All right. 